Hello everyone! In this series all about ABAP, we will start with the discovery of the SAP software and see together what ABAP is and what is it used for. First of all, here we are directly in SAP, in the main menu. To give you a very brief explanation of the software, SAP is what we call an ERP. In other words, it will bring together all the different departments of a company, allowing them to have one and the same work base, in which each of them will be able to integrate their flows, their data, and make them communicate with each other. To do this, SAP needs to have a complete database, as well as transaction which could be considered as a kind of dedicated application for one or more particular function. Here is an example of a transaction that displays the information of a sale order. Transaction VA03. Here I need to specify the order number and I press Enter. It shows the information needed to sell a product X to a customer. When I launch this transaction, I am in fact using what is called a program. And this program is coded in the priority language of SAP, ABAP. What the user sees here is the display part of the program. We see fields and so on. This part will also allow to launch business processes later. But what interests us here is what is hidden behind the visible part. And to do this, let's directly go in the simple program to better understand. So I can go back a little bit and use the transaction SE80. This transaction is called the object navigator. With the help of this transaction, we will be able to navigate more easily in the code and everything that makes up SAP from a programming point of view. And here I have prepared an example with a simple code. I can here choose this program, double click on it, and here you can see the code appear. Everything happens in the area on the right, which we will call together throughout this series, the ABAP editor. This is where the codes are created. First, you will find what is called the declaration section. This is where the data we need for our program is defined. Parameters entered by the user, variables, tables, and so on. Then comes the part describing the logic of the program. In other words, this is where we will give instruction to SAP to perform particular operations based on the data previously specified. I have just mentioned some particular terms such as parameter, variable or data table. To avoid getting lost and before going deeper into our program, Let's go to the next part of our series based on the data dictionary. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to give us a feedback on this series and tell us if you like the concept. See you soon for our next episode.